Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we have talked about uh, Office Access and we have created a new one which is Office Grant. I'm not sure why it's not showing right now. Okay. So as you can see we have also created Office Grant and we have tested what if tool and so how the policies have been impacting. So in this video we'll be configuring sign in uh, frequency controls using conditional access policy. So basically if you talk about organizations, there are complex deployments and organizations might have need to restrict the authentication sessions. So for instance, let's say there is some restricted user who is trying to access the resources or uh, for instance, the high impacting users as well. So there are a lot of conditions which uh, we have to uh, consider and uh, add the conditional access. So coming to the user sign frequency, which we'll be talking in this video. So the sign in frequency defines the time period before a user is asked to sign in again when attempting to access the resources. So there is a time frame uh, between which the user is again uh, redirected to authenticate himself. So we'll be seeing uh, that in a bit. So let's go ahead and start. So first let's go ahead and create a new policy here. Click that. And here let's say session access or something like based on your interest we can just add the name so coming to the users let's add the user here so select user you can uh, select all the guest users or the directory roles if you want if you select it will be added to that particular role and uh, but in this case we'll be adding that to users and let's add the user that we have created so it's done coming to the cloud apps click that and uh, right now for the cloud apps i'm just keeping it uh, any cloud app so coming to the cloud apps let's select uh, a particular app and uh, add it so it's done you can add the conditions as well so if you click the conditions i will uh, let's see, select for the windows so let's go ahead with the session click that and here you can see there is a sign in frequency so click that so periodic uh, re-authentication so let's select the days or hours based on your needs you can select it and in this case uh, we can keep it as 30 days according to the docs and uh, make sure you select that one so basically let's say uh, right now it's in days but let's say i'm working on some application and uh, I'm working for one hour. Let's say there is some sensitive data. I'm working that uh, on that application for 30 minutes. And here there is an option called one hour. Okay, let's say one hour. So after 30 minutes, again, I just uh, logged on my device. And again, I just came back and just started the device again. And it's been one hour. So since I'm working on that application since one hour, I'll be getting the prompt where I have to re-authenticate myself. Maybe that may be the like, uh, few reasons like because of the conditional access that we have specified. So based on our conditional access, uh, it will be re-authenticated uh, for that particular user. So I hope you guys have understood. So just click that and in this case, enable policy. It, uh, let's keep it as report only. Uh, so that's it uh, for this uh, conditional access policy. So basically it will be in only report mode. So it will be evaluated based on uh, the user's action, but it's not enforced. So there is a difference between enforced as uh, well as report only, which we have talked in like uh, the previous videos. So that's it for now. You have to just create it and it will be done for you. And uh, basically the results are logged in conditional access and report only tabs of sign in log details. And uh, customers with Azure uh, monitor subscription can monitor the impact of this conditional access policy using conditional insights uh, workbook so this is what it is about it and uh, i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video i'll be giving the relevant videos in the description for you to watch if you have liked the video please click the like button below here and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone